Former FBI Director James Comey's statement for the Senate Committee on Intelligence reads like a screenplay. From scene one, his first private briefing with President-elect Donald Trump, Comey offers the sense that he felt something amiss. I felt compelled to document my first conversation with the President-elect in a memo, he says. He says he had met twice in person with President Barack Obama, but in neither of those circumstances, Comey says, did I memorialize the discussions. A few days after Mr. Trump's inauguration, Comey gets a phone call around lunchtime. It's the President inviting him to the White House for dinner. Comey assumed there'd be others at the dinner, but it turned out to be just the two of us, seated at a small oval table in the center of the green room. Two Navy stewards waited on us, only entering the room to serve food and drinks. Comey writes, my instincts told me that the dinner was, at least in part, an effort to have me ask for my job and create some sort of patronage relationship. Comey draws a tense scene, a president alone with a top law enforcement official about to make what Mr. Comey says is a remarkable request that would violate Mr. Comey's independence as an investigator. According to Comey, the president said, I need loyalty. I expect loyalty. But Comey does more than convey his version of the conversation. He presents an accumulation of detail, the oval table, the Navy stores, intended to shore up his position as an accurate narrator of this highly charged scene. And he continues to add detail once Mr. Trump makes, in Mr. Comey's telling, the loyalty request. I didn't move, speak, or change my facial expression in any way during the awkward silence that followed. We simply looked at each other in silence. A few weeks later, Comey goes to the Oval Office for a scheduled counterterrorism briefing. The president signaled the end of the briefing by thanking the group and telling them all that he wanted to speak to me alone. When the door by the grandfather clock closed and we were alone, again, Mr. Comey draws a picture, cinematic in its detail, that puts the listener in the scene and which may have the effect of building his position as a trustworthy chronicler of the moment. Comey continues, the president began by saying, I want to talk about Mike Flynn. Comey says the president then told him, I hope you can see your way clear to letting this go, to letting Flynn go. He's a good guy. I hope you can let this go. I replied only that he's a good guy. In the final scene, Comey describes the president calling him to ask what I'd done about his request that I get out that he is not personally under investigation. Comey says he suggested that the White House counsel should contact the leadership of the Department of Justice. He said he would do that and added, because I've been very loyal to you, very loyal. We had that thing, you know. I did not reply or ask him what he meant by that thing. Comey says that was the last time I spoke with President Trump.